that's cool. Have some advice. It was good. It was um, it was pretty tough, obviously. Uh, had a few different tasks that we're not used to, but it was a good week. Brought all the boys together. Obviously, a bit cold up there, though. Yeah, definitely. Uh, big change from right now. It was uh, about 10, 12 degrees down there all week, so it was uh, yeah a lot colder than here. What kind of training did you do? Um, mostly we, um, there was a fair bit of conditioning and strength and then that was in the mornings and then the afternoons we, did, we had different activities. So we uh, climbed Kosciuszko and we uh, had an amazing race kind of thing on the Tuesday afternoon which was a lot of fun. It was a good chance to sort of talk about 2016 and set a few goals? Yeah it was. It was the first time we've um, had the, the whole squad back together with the Wallabies coming back. Um, it, it was good to get together and you know sit down and get everyone on the same page, which is really important at this time of the year. How's the preparations going for the trial match? Yeah, it's, it's coming along well. I mean, uh, we've, we had our first week of training last week and then um, we've got another big week of training this week and looking forward to that first trial match on the 6th of Feb against the Waratahs in Wagga. With, the, with I guess, the, the shortened pre-season, the Wallabies have only just sort of just come back last week. Will that have much of an impact heading into this season about how you, how you go about preparing? Or does it differ this pre-season from others? No, not really. I think most of the guys that, have, that were in the Wallabies during the World Cup were, have been in the Wallabies before, so they, they normally come back in pretty good nick around this time of the year, and we know the deal. I mean, you've got to come back in reasonable shape, ready to train on the 4th of January, so I think most of the guys responded well to that, and a lot of guys are ready to go. Mate, um, coming back in as well, I know you spoke last year about trying to step up and be a bit of a leader after your Wallabies experience. Do you? Do you now have to take that to a new level again? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, there's there's few and few. Like a lot of guys have got a fair bit of experience now and I'm, I'm becoming one of those people. So um, I think uh, a few guys are looking to step up this year and really make a mark on the team and, and lead around the park. How do you do that? Like, what do you have to, I guess, add to your game to take that next step? Uh, well, I've been given the line-out duties this year, so I think um, I think that's more my responsibility this year. I'll focus on that, and if I can control that and uh, do that as to the best of my ability, it will go a long way. Because who did that last year? Was it Fards, or did you share it with him? Or? Yeah, well, F Fards was the caller, but behind the scenes, we kind of both did a little bit, chipped in, and uh, uh, ran it together. But he had the on-field duties. Is that something that um, like Moen did that quite well when he was here? It's also a job that um, kind of gets thrown around in the Wallabies a little bit. Is that something that you look kind of another string to the bow sort of thing? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm looking to further my game in all aspects, but that's definitely one I want to I want to bring to 2016 is um, having a bit more responsibility in that line-out role. So um, we're, we've been doing a fair bit of work on it this pre-season. Hopefully it uh, comes good in February. I don't think we've um, sp <laughs> <laughs> spoken to you since you've been back for the World Cup, have we? No, so, no, I don't think so. Um, I can't even remember. Did you get a game when you came in? Or? No, no, I played. Uh, my last game for the Wallabies was the, the Chicago test yeah. in, um, in the US. But then I was, I was in Bordeaux for two weeks and I came back into the squad in the second week of the World Cup and I was unfortunate not to get a game. But... How, how did you kind of deal with that experience? Because like you parachuted in quite late and then in and around the squad all the way to a World Cup final and you can almost touch it sort of thing, but you don't get that chance to get out there. I just made sure I did everything possible to put myself in the best position to give myself that opportunity. So um, at the end of the day, I wasn't, I wasn't too disappointed that I didn't get a game because I knew I did everything possible to put myself in that position. So it was tough not getting a game, but at the same time, I, d I didn't didn't leave anything behind. Does it ignite the fire for you a little bit? I know you're um, not exactly an old bloke yet, but so the next World Cup must be on your radar, and having that taste of being around it must make you want it even more. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think everyone wants to play at the highest level, and the World Cup is the pinnacle of pinnacle rugby competition in the world. So that's definitely my focus, and I did get a bit of experience and exposure at this one, but again, I didn't get to play a game, so I, I'm looking forward to the next one. What did you take out of it then? Oh, just the experience and just the, the atmosphere around everything we did and the pressure that was on the boys. I mean, it was, it was immense for a couple of months there, and I think we handled it really well throughout the competition, and that's something I've really learned from. 
Mate, um, a couple of guys have talked about this year as a big year for the Brumbies as a club. Like, you got Wallabies in almost every position sort of thing. Um, I know the target's always to win it, but is there that feeling that this group can go all the way? I think uh, I think definitely the boys are just focusing on what they need to do. I know I know we've got a good squad on paper, but again, that doesn't get the results. We've we've just got to make sure we tick all the boxes and put our best foot forward. And then if uh, if we do that, we know the results will fall our way.